The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Guys, my latest bottle has just been delivered. I don't know how often I can say this, but this is the main week. Black Friday at coldest is this week. Up to 50% off select random drops throughout the month and up to 20% off the entire website at coldest.com forward slash Black Friday. Guys, some of these bottles are being sold out and shout out to every single person who has purchased a bottle and has gotten their discounts. Remember, every time you use my link, I do get a kickback. So you are helping me to create more of these videos. So shout out again to everyone who's gotten their bottle. And if you haven't gotten your bottle, make use of the sale, guys. Christmas is just around the corner. Anyway, guys, let's get into today's video. All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where we are stuck with you and we are always smiling. So I've been editing you know the other videos and i just saw the curry and i'm like yo i cannot wait for today to go try some more curry what about your choice ready 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 yo super excited now this very first stop we're going to a place out in spanish town called charms and you know before we did this whole thing charms was like for me i thought it might be the top of the list because they might be roti Well, true, only one place ever had roti, for real, for real. So that's a good representation. So yeah, we're heading out there right now. I'm super excited to try some new bits of curry goat from a whole new restaurant that I've never been to before. Have you been there? Yes. You been? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, cool, but you don't know. I'll keep it neutral, and even though I'm excited, I'm going to try to rate everybody as fairly as possible. And so will Jilly. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you when we get there. Did you just wave? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Alright guys, so I'm in Charms right now. The World Cup game is going on and it's very much like a, a hole in the wall kind of spot. And um, yeah, but they always say the hole in the wall spots are really good. Um, since we came in here, there's been like probably I would say like eight orders or so, so yeah, very excited to try this food and tell you guys what I think about it. Wow, so the funny thing is, the food is 1,400, but you get the bill, there's no breakdown, they just put lunch and drinks and just put everything into one. Um, even though I said it's a hole in the wall type of store, they do take cards, so if you come in here with your card and whatever, you should be perfectly fine. But um, it's quite interesting. Even something like um, putting in the orders, you have to talk to the chef herself and tell her exactly what you want, and she'll go in there and just put in the orders for you. So it's a little bit different than you know the other places that we've been to. However, this should make the food even better. All right, guys, I want you guys to drop a definite like on the video because you know we were struggling just to put the camera up. You know, just to give you guys a bit more more quality but speaking of quality with how much different facets to this business which are so peculiar to me i hope the quality is good and we assume it's going to be good yeah wow here it is guys wow it looks good Hold on. all right mm. i i am super excited well we have some soup here we got um some what is this? Goat head soup? Yeah, manish water. Yeah. So there's... Does that make it? Manish water is goat head soup. Manish water is the bowels. Really? There's no bowels in there. It's not manish water. Well, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but drop in the comments. Correct me. Um, the forks. Where are the forks, my love? So she gave you only one fork? One fork. Oh, yeah. Okay. We need two, but no problem. All right. So uh, this is the food. You guys might probably not. You guys might not be able to see it so well. But the color, it's it's very rich looking. Oh, 
Plus your two minutes. One is. <laughs> One is. Mmm. It's interesting. Very interesting. Let me taste the roti. It's very interesting. Like the roti looks like it comes from a good home. The color, the color on it is it's it's, it's very rich. It is um. It has a nice amount of spice to it. A decent amount of spice to it. To it. I feel I can actually feel it on my chest right now. It's pretty good. It, it, it's a it's a pretty good one. For me, the roti looks like it's coming from too good of a home, to be honest. Okay. Um, for me, I like, if you look at this roti here, it's it's kind of... Reminds me of a crepe. It, it's very bland, but even a crepe has the the the, the little um, browning on it, oh, okay. you know, which I like. So this one really coming from a very good home. Better than the first two, but not better than um, the last one. <laughs> not better than um, crew. Mm -hmm. Where you find the curry? How's the curry? The curry is good. It's a very good curry. I think this color is probably like my favorite looking color. Um, the spice level on it for me is is good. A good spice level, not too mild, not too intense. Yeah, it's just there. I probably would say the spice level is just a little bit below um, Moby Dick's. But um, like I said, I I'm gonna try to like rate this not based off of what I was thinking before. Mm -hmm. You know, I was very I was very hyped on my my decision like to come here. Very hyped on it. Um, yeah, for me, the last man wrote it. I have a major teeth for the food, but I'm going to save it for when we're discussing it or raging. Cool. Hmm. Alright, guys. Let's get into the rating mm -hmm. of um, this spot. Again, like I said, I think before I was I was so enthusiastic about coming out here because I knew that they had roti. Mm -hmm. The other places I wasn't I wasn't informed about that. So anyway, but I'm gonna be as, as good as I can. Hey, all right. If it's soup you want, soup you're gonna get. This soup is amazing, right? It's wow, really it's good. really good. It's really good. Jeez, um, I wish we were rating on soups mm -hmm. today. This is really good. All right, so we're doing this uh, this trek out now to Morris. How are you feeling? Like, ready for some food. <laughs> oh yeah. Have you like had a good experience in before? Like, is that a spot that you would recommend just for food in general? Um, generally speaking, I would recommend it. I've okay. been here before, and the food has usually been pretty good. I'm excited for the some more roti. That's what I'm excited for. I, want, I really hope that we can get like a like a really good roti with the curry. Um, I've been to Murray's like three times before. I think I, it was the first time I've ever had a rabbit. It was out there. Oh uh, yeah, it was a vibe. So um, yeah, but it's gonna be like a it's a 45 minute drive. We've been like driving for like 20 minutes now. Don't know regular Jamaican road, the bumps and the ups and the downs and whatever. So. Yeah, we're gonna see if this drive is really worth it if you are not from Clarinda. I, I suspect that this is gonna turn out kinda like how food is. You feel so? Yeah man. Well, we never really 
Yeah, get that feeling in my spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what I could go on. Um, but I, I do credit Murray's though. I think it's a spot that should make good food. You know? Yeah. Alright, so we'll catch you guys there. Fingers crossed that this is going to be the best curry. And if it's not, it means we have to go back to the place where we really enjoy the most at the end of the series or something. And that's what we're going to go back. <laughs> Alright guys, so we made our quick little stop off by the infamous Murray's but you don't know right now we are going to just put in our orders and head into the van. Yeah, we'll talk about why exactly we're going into the van when we come on to the order. But yeah, we're here all the way out in Clarendon and we are definitely hoping that the food is worth the drive. Alright, so yeah, we are at Murray's. Um, the initial plan was to go in there and sit and eat or whatever the case was, but um, my mic stand thing got left behind. So we're going to have it in the car, which I think gives it a fair comparison nonetheless. Um, but just a quick little idea of here because yeah we came here on a monday thinking that it's going to be less people but yeah it's heavily supported so let's hope the food is as good let's see what the curry looks like it literally looks like the exact thing from charms except it has one more roti <laughs> like yeah. if you brought both those plates yeah i would have just been like yeah from the same place the color the rice the veggies are a little bit different yeah. and the roti has a little bit more brown to it <laughs> it's, it's, see you, I, i'm cheese. sorry that's super funny to me i hope you guys see exactly what i'm talking about it, the, the four of them look <laughs> similar the difference is that they share it on the opposite side yeah, yeah. i guess <laughs> all right go for it make us see how the food all right go on um yeah Jilly was saying that over here because there's, there's possibly a slaughterhouse close by um there's a lot more flies and it's true because when we came here open the door for like a couple of seconds there's like three wow. there's three in the van so we got rid of two so if you see we're flashing <laughs> it's a fly yeah that's what it is so i guess in here might be a little bit better in terms of that but um have the first bite Now I do see a difference of the bats. The, the, the gravy is a lot thicker than Charles. Mm -hmm. This one, the initial spice hit, is very similar to the one from Mobis. That's what you mind of, or no? I mean, I'm cool. Nah. Cool. This one is spicier than cool. Yeah, they're more spicy, but. Yeah, that one here, the cool spice was a delayed. That one here hit you as well. I think from Cruz, Cruz was a milder type of spice. Wasn't limited, wasn't lacking, but was milder. This one is, wow, it's closer to the one from Mobis, like, mm -hmm. definitely. Now, let's try the roti. Now, that to me is gonna be the selling point. I think, out of all of them, I think the roti experience from Mobis for me was like, was the best one. Was the best one, but then Cruz was like a proper balance of that. I'm gonna expect any different from what we did do. If they never got the roti right, I'd be concerned. The roti, I think it was a pleasant one. It was it was definitely better than the last one we had. Definitely better than the last one. Um, 
I think if you're a curry lover, you can't compare rice with roti. I think like roti just goes like perfect for it because like the roti kind of sops up all that gravy. So I think if you're gonna sell a curry, yeah man, put some so tasties. Shout out to Uno. Make some roti. Start make some roti. I mean roti and patty crust can't be that far off. If you can't make a good patty crust, you can't make a good roti. Um, add that to the menu. Um, but I, lo I think I like this sauce. It's very rich. It's very. It's, it's very curry. It's, honestly, I. It's very. It's very Indian curry. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the Jamaican, our like what your grandmother, your mother would have make like the curry gravy wasn't that. Some people have it more oily too. Like this one is not oily. It's just complete. That's gravy. It's nice. It's thick. I think this one has the nicest gravy type consistency. Oh, I know it's about the texture of the meat. The texture of the meat is tender. It is a, it is a tender um, texture of the meat um, cooked well. Yeah, I think just overall, this one is a, this one is a nice one. Okay. What are your thoughts though? Like, you eat it, like, what are your thoughts? It's good. Flavors are very good. The meat for me, it kind of reminds me of, it's not as, but as one we had that charms in terms of the texture of the meat. But I realized that maybe the, the goat that they use that charm could be a goat that they kill. So probably that's why that texture not so soft like how I thought it should have been. But this kind of feel like similar. But it's tender. I don't know if it makes sense. Mm -hmm. The meat is tender, but it still have that rougher feel to it. So maybe that's the reason why charms is like that. You know, it tastes like kill goat. But isn't that what you want from a goat? Don't <laughs> drop in yeah, the comment, yeah. comments, guys. I think a lot of us are Jamaicans. I can speak for myself. When I was a child, um, like family reunions, there was a goat that's going to be killed. Mm -hmm. You know? And to slaughter an animal, you have to be very careful because the animal cannot be stressed out. It cannot be, you know, afraid or whatever the case is or to go with a tent or meat. Um, so, I mean, that could be that. It could be an older goat. But honestly, I don't think every day at a restaurant will be the same i think only chickens i think chickens they can actually have controlled growth where you know say oh it's a certain type of texture something like a goat is going to always have a bit of gaminess i think like it or not some goat are going to be different from like if it was too tender you're going to be like ah oh, it cannot go and take away from the curry goat effect that you want but it's good it's really good forgive me to the viewers overseas or internationally for taking out the bone like with a curry goat there's a bunch of bones in there so like that's something yes. that i kind of um, pay attention to but you kind of know when the goat is pretty tender when some of the bones in it can, you can yeah. bite and chew one not all them because it's a tougher tougher bone but um is this is this would, would you drive out of town for this um honestly i would not drive out of town for it but if i'm coming this side definitely i'd stop um why because i can't drive go to moby dick <laughs> less gas less no toll yeah but out of like all the spots though is there i mean apart from tastes because i know you go to that is there any one of them that you thought was like um like lacking in what you expect from a goat or uh, just do a different spin honestly I, I can't say that any one of them was lucky I think it the all the end product was what we wanted curry goat even though everybody had a different spin on it the end product was pretty good and it all boils it all boils down to your taste your personal taste because I'm sure when you guys go to visit the restaurants that we've been to you probably have a different preference you know it just boils down to your taste buds but overall they were all pretty good hmm. yo love me eat my cream man but no somebody i forgot to something about me eating my cream but i know you guys might have noticed that um we didn't rate the place we didn't rate chimes we didn't rate out here murray's I will enjoy the cream. Now the reason for that, we're gonna tell you guys the final score, the grand finale of who won on episode four. Yeah. yeah. 
So what we do understand some persons are not going to get to watch all of the videos for whatever reasons. I don't go say I can't find the content or whatever. So we're going to do a fourth video where we're going to have it more condensed. So it's going to be shorter, not much talking. We'll get more to the point as to what the scores are. And then we will see who gets my cream. As it sounds right now, guys, we're not even sure who won. I, I, don't, I honestly yeah, don't know. Sure. I, I don't know what the scores are. But. You think you know who won? Drop it in the comment section. Mm hmm. And let me know. Let me know. Anyway, enjoy that cream. We're going to head back home. Today was a good day, but was it good enough for one of these people to take it home? I, mean, I don't Not know. Sure. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys on the final episode where we're going to make a, everything in synopsis, make it short, and we'll know who is the winner. But I think everybody did well. Yeah. All right, guys, remember these two things love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember keep the link. <laughs>